The 4.9 release of Silent Push, we introduced a new feature called HTML content similarity. So when you're investigating malicious infrastructure, oftentimes uh, it's stood up with some level of automation or using some kind of template. Uh, this is gonna actually make it easier to find similar sites when you are investigating things like C2 infrastructure or different phishing kits you might be looking at. Um, so here I have an example of a site that we, we recently saw. Uh, in this case, it was a phishing site that was using uh, click fix in order to spread some ransomware. We can see a screenshot of it here that we've captured from our live scan. What I want to do is I want to actually come down into my parameters here that we've gathered from our scanning. And in this case, I want to come down to the body. I want to grab this SSD hash that we've uh, generated for this page. I'm going to copy this. And we'll see on the left-hand side now we have this new option for HTML content similarity. I have this open in my other tab here. And this is where I can start to take those, uh, those details, whether it is a domain or a URL, or in this case, since I've already run our scan, I'm gonna just put in my hash. Uh, now we can also set a, a percentage match threshold here. So if I wanna cast a wider net, I can set this lower, or if I wanna be a little more strict with my matching, I can set this higher. I'm gonna leave this where it is just for the purpose of running my scan. What this is going to do is we're going to actually use that SSD fuzzy, fuzzy hash, which is going to give us a way to measure the similarity of two files, um, even if they're not an exact match. So now I can see that my results have been returned. I have this percentage match on the left-hand column. You can start to see some of the details about different domains that were returned. Um, and I can even start to see, as I am looking through some of these here, I can see certain patterns where they're actually ending in this, uh, this slash CF. Now, as I am continuing to investigate, if I want, I can always pivot off of this quickly to start to dig into this deeper, or if I want to pull up our total view, I can always pivot off of that to start to bring up all of my details around DNS infrastructure, the web scan data. Um, and I can see my screenshots here where we're starting to see that this matches uh, my original site we've investigated. Uh, so really just trying to make it easier when we are doing these investigations to find some of these clusters of sites and start to identify them as they're coming online so we can take action to uh, start to block them.